But now in the spirit of randomness, let's talk about laundry because does anyone actually use those measuring cups to really measure how much soap they're going to use? Some people use them and other people like me don't because I love the freestyling. We are back in action, my friends. I am so glad to see you back. My Random Thoughts Part 2 is here, everyone, and I just want to let you all know that we literally just made history right now. If you go on YouTube and type in My Random Thoughts, you're going to see a whole bunch of other animators who made the same kind of video but there is only one that's right only one other animator out there in the world who has ever made a part two video about their random thoughts and that other animator is the amazing and funny Jaden animations and now that I also have a part two video about my random thoughts this now means that your number one favorite chocolate chip eyed marshmallow has reached new heights that's right everyone we made it to the top you guys we got second place and we're rocking a silver medal around our neck because getting second place is pretty cool I think and that means that we still get to be part of that group picture when it comes to who the top three contenders are and since we just made history I think it's only fair that I hit you guys with a pretty cool and very random historical fact that I think not a lot of people know about and it involves our favorite carrot eating what's up doc saying Looney Tune character that helped Michael Jordan in the movie Space Jam, Bugs Bunny. Does anyone remember Bugs Bunny always calling Elmer Fudd a Nimrod? Because that was kind of his nickname because Bugs Bunny would always call him that. Now let me ask you a quick question. Do you think the word Nimrod is a positive word or a negative word? I always thought it was a negative word and it was Bugs Bunny's way of calling Elmer Fudd an idiot. But if you actually Google up what the word really means, you will be surprised to find out that the word Nimrod actually means to be a very skillful hunter and to take it one step further Nimrod was actually a person in the Bible somewhere in the book of Genesis if you're asking how I know this my good old friend Wikipedia told me so you know it's true but for any skeptics out there who don't believe it let me show you where it says it Nimrod a biblical figure described as a king in the land of blah 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 see right there it says a mighty hunter before the Lord so this whole time I thought Nimrod meant someone was an idiot but it's actually a compliment this just shows how powerful Bugs Bunny really is because he single-handedly changed the entire meaning of the word Nimrod so hypothetically speaking right now if I see someone that I don't like and I say hey Nimrod I can't get in any trouble because if they say I was making fun of them I can say no I wasn't and show them dictionary.com as proof I was only calling them a skillful hunter and I wasn't making fun of them or was I but now in the spirit of randomness let's talk about laundry because does anyone actually use those measuring cups to really measure how much soap they're going to use some people use them and other people like me don't because I love the freestyling I like to pour as much as laundry detergent as I want until I have what I think is enough I pour laundry detergent the same way as an artist pours acrylic paint and I always like to use way more soap than the recommended amount because I like to see lots of bubbles in the water when my washing machine is cleaning my clothes because to me more soap equals more bubbles and more bubbles means cleaner clothes something about seeing lots of bubbles makes me feel like my clothes are gonna come out extra clean and if I don't see any bubbles that's when I think I have a problem because now I think I didn't add enough soap I like to see bubbles when I do laundry because I can see with my own eyes and know for sure that the soap I'm using is working and since I just talked about about laundry let me tell you guys a cleaning product that my mom loved to use all the time when I was growing up and that's baking soda my perception of baking soda is very different from a lot of people because of my mom I grew up watching my mom only use baking soda as a cleaning product and the box of baking soda was always in the storage closet next to the dirty mop and the other cleaning products that she used around the house so when you're growing up and that's what you only see baking soda used for that's what you're going to think it's a cleaning product so very recently I was watching this episode on the react channel and I was freaking out when baking soda was used as a cooking ingredient I was freaking out because to me it was like seeing someone trying to use powdered soap to cook with so after that episode I had to do some googling around and I educated myself on the many other uses of baking soda I saw baking soda only as a cleaning product but I didn't know you can drink it cook with it or even brush your teeth 
with powdered baking soda. I blame my mom for this one because now it's going to take me a very long time to not see a box of baking soda as a box of very strong powdered soap. But let me wrap this video up. Leave me a comment down below. Do you like to see lots of bubbles when your clothes are inside the washing machine or is it just me? But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want more, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all later.